Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to optimize your solid-state drive for Linux. But to get started, get open a terminal, and uh, real quick, I'm going to pop over to my gparted installation. So gparted is the GNOME graphical t uh, partition interface, and as you can see, I have all of my install on this one singular SSD. I have NTFS for my Windows 10 gaming installation here, and I have my Linux installation with Solus on here. So as you can see, my SSD is running as an extended four partition. And uh, that's, in my opinion, the best file system to use for a solid state drive. Another good, uh, Another good file system to use would be XFS, but overall, if you're using an SSD, you should be using Extended 4. It has the most user-friendly options, and uh, generally it's what most people go with, so just use that. And your, most of your Linux installations will come with the uh, come with it installed by default. So the singular way to enable trim support for many different distributions is to install a package called util linux so on solus linux which i've been using lately i have searched for the package util linux now if you look for my article in the description you'll notice that every single linux distribution has the same package name so to get going just read the article below and find the command that you need to get this going and once you do install it And uh, I'm going to quickly install this. And as you can see, it'll say, I already have it installed. And uh, you may already have it installed, you may not. So once you have Util Linux installed and working, the next thing to do is to just use the tools that it has. And the main tool that it has is File System Trim. And then you'd also start the service with start and so that means that trim is running what this does is it enables a file system level utility so that everything goes smoothly and that the file system will automatically discard blocks for best results for this make sure that you use a swap partition on a different hard drive like if I look through my system here you notice that everything is on this SSD including my swap this is bad but it's not incredibly terrible because I have a lot of RAM, but if I were only running with a very limited amount of RAM and I was always touching that swap partition, it would make writes worse on my solid state drive because it would be regularly interacting with that drive and regularly reading and writing from it. So guys, just a quick video on how to enable file system trim with the solid state drives on Linux. Please make sure you look through the description and check out our article. It goes much more into depth on file system trim for Linux for solid state drives.